Around 100 million years ago, an asteroid 10 kilometers across is ejected from the asteroid belt. Dislodged from its orbit by Jupiter, it is now on a collision course with Earth. When it strikes, the impact generates a fireball so hot, anything within a 1,000 kilometer radius dies instantly. The impact throws some 300 billion tons of sulfur up into the atmosphere. And during the nuclear winter that follows, 75% of species, plant and animal, are wiped from the face of the Earth, including the largest creatures ever to walk on its surface. By driving the dinosaurs to extinction, Jupiter cleared the way for us to inherit the Earth And although it still occasionally flings asteroids our way, Jupiter also protects us. For objects heading toward Earth from the far reaches of the solar system, the giant planet's immense gravity acts as a shield. Around a hundred years ago, a lump of rock and ice four kilometers across is hurtling towards the inner solar system. But Jupiter stands in its way. Five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of Atlantis and the Galileo spacecraft bound for Jupiter. 70 years later, a mission launches that will witness just how effective a shield Jupiter can be. On board the space shuttle Atlantis, the Galileo Orbiter. Three years after Galileo launches, Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 has been captured by Jupiter's gravity. And now, locked in the giant planet's deadly embrace, tidal forces begin to tear the comet apart. Its journey into the inner solar system cut short. What happens next presents the Galileo scientists with a unique opportunity. And so everyone was observing it and they realized two things. One is that it had just passed very close to Jupiter and probably had gotten pulled apart by Jupiter's tides. And the other was that it was gonna crash into Jupiter two years later. The discovery that a comet was about to hit Jupiter was a huge surprise and very exciting. After crossing the inner solar system, Galileo is approaching the spot where it will witness the comet's final moments. We knew Galileo would be able to see the flashes directly. We knew that the impacts were gonna occur on the night side and that Galileo was gonna be able to see him. On July 16th, Galileo sees the first fragments of the comet 
enter Jupiter's southern hemisphere. At 60 kilometers per second, the fragments really heated the atmosphere, uh, red hot, almost to the temperatures of the sun. And the pieces hit the planet one after the other. Pieces of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 strike Jupiter over the course of six days. They look like big flashes on Jupiter. The pictures of the impact were fantastic. These tiny points of light, captured from 240 million kilometers away, are the only time a comet strike has ever been witnessed. The most destructive impact releases energy equivalent to six million megatons of TNT leaving behind a giant dark cloud 12,000 kilometers across. By capturing objects in its orbit and incinerating them on impact, Jupiter protects us from bodies that might otherwise collide with Earth. <laughs> 